हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी आई एस अकेडमी डेलीज अपस्केल मेडिटेशनल मेंटोरशिप यूपीएससी कॉन्फिडेंस कोवनेंट प्रोग्राम दिस इज गोली वर्षा आई एम श्योर यू टेकिंग द टेस्ट सीरियसली एंड राइटिंग दैम कंसिस्टेंटली एवरी सिंगल डे ऑन दिस पॉजिटिव नोट वी शेल सी द टेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर सी सेट क्वेश्चन गिवन ऑन एट ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ विल सी दर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सेवनटीन ए बी सी are four distinct numbers and the hcf of each pair of numbers 17a 17b 17c is 17 where a b c each are less than 85 and a is less than b is less than c what is the value of a plus c by b so what is the meaning of hcf first you have to know everybody knows the full form highest common factor but what is the meaning For example, if the numbers twenty four, forty eight, and ninety six are given here, the highest common factor of these uh, these numbers is twenty four. It's not twelve. Okay, twelve is not the. It is a factor, but it is not the highest common factor. Okay, so this you have to be very very clear. Okay, yeah. Now we'll take these numbers seventeen a, seventeen b, and seventeen c. And here you have to observe this one. A is less than B is less than C, which means two things. One, A, B, C are distinct numbers, so you cannot take a random value and substitute. And they are saying that all the three are less than eighty-five. All right. Now, what is eighty-five? It is seventeen fives. Okay. So all these numbers A, B, and C have to be less than seventeen into five. So the possible values of A, B, and C. Are seventeen into two that is thirty four. Seventeen into three that is fifty one. Seventeen into uh, seventeen into four that is sixty eight. Okay, so these are the possible values. Now, why didn't I take seventeen into one? Because it's seventeen, and here they've given they are four distinct numbers. Okay, seventeen is already a number. Out of four numbers, and if I take seventeen into one for A or B or C, it will again become seventeen. So this rule is gone, right? So not violating that rule, we have to take these numbers. Okay, now what is the value of A plus C by B? Thirty-four plus fifty-one by sixty-eight is what we usually write, but do not write like this. Easy method is C seventeen. If you take common, what will you get? You will get Two plus seventeen into two, right? So what is common in A, B, C? It's seventeen. Plus what is the value of uh, C that you have to write here? It is four by seventeen into three. Seventeen, seventeen is gone. Now six by three is two. Two is the answer. Did you understand this point? What I'm saying is A plus B by A plus C by B. Here A is what seventeen into two, right? Seventeen into two plus C is what? Seventeen into four by B is what? Seventeen into three. So take seventeen common and write two into four by seventeen into three. So that this is this will be gone and it will be six by three. That is two. This is easy way of calculation instead of adding and then dividing. Okay. So remember this. You can save time and use it for next question. All right. Yeah. Now, next question: The sum of two positive numbers is two forty, and the HCF is fifteen. Find the number of pairs of numbers satisfying the given condition. Okay, so if HCF is given, then the pair of numbers can be written as fifteen A and fifteen B. Okay, I'll tell you with an example so that it will be very easy. Then we will solve this problem. Okay, suppose I'm saying that HCF of uh, two pair numbers is six. Okay, then the numbers can be written in the form of six A and six B. Now, what is this? What did I write? See, the numbers can be six and twelve. The numbers can be eighteen, twenty-four. Okay, now what is this? This number can be written in the form of six into three comma six into four. This here, the value of a is three, the value of b is four. Now the highest common factor of eighteen and twenty-four is six, so that is satisfied. 
right this is only an example that i'm seeing we'll come to the solving part later because you have to understand this concept first okay 3 and 4 this is fine but you have to ensure that the values of a and b are taken properly you can't take all the values of a and b why i'll show you with an example see here if you are taking 6 a uh, 8 6 into 4 and uh, 6 into 12 okay i have taken a to be 4 and b to be 12 okay then what is the value uh, 6 4 is 24 and 12 into 6 is 72 now what is the highest common factor it's 24 here it is not 6 6 is only a factor it is not the highest common factor what is the highest common factor it is 24 so the given a condition in the question is violated so you cannot take a to be 4 and b to be 12 why because a and b also have a common factor which is 4 okay the com highest common factor 4 4 and 12 is what 4 right so this will come into picture that's why to avoid this scenario you have to choose the values of a and b such that the highest common factor of these numbers is only number 1 and such pair is called co-prime these co-primes of each other you are understanding my point for example it can be 2 and uh, 3 2 and 3 what is the highest common factor for these two it is 1 right and uh, Okay, so 2 and 5, the highest common factor is what? 1. Now, why did I tell all this story? It's because you have to understand co-prime concept and you should also have the sense to use this concept in the sum. That's why I told this story with an example without directly solving. Okay, now come to this. You will understand it more clearly here. Okay, now sum of these two numbers is what? They have given it is 240. So, 15 into A plus B is equal to 240. Now, 3 5s are 3 8s are 5 1s are 5 16s are. So, this I am doing step by step cancellation for you to understand clearly. Otherwise, directly 51s, 15 16s. Uh, can be done but here I want to do it for your um, clarity okay so that you will not commit any mistake now a plus b is what 16 what are the possible values of a plus b first we'll write down that and then we will see what can be done okay now, what are the pa possible values of a plus b to get 16 positive numbers if you are taking it is uh, a can be 1 b can be 15 so that their sum is 16 then a can be 2, b can be 14, a can be 3, 13, 4 and 12, 5 and 11, 6 and 10, 7 and 9, 8 and 8 and again, again it will repeat 9 and 7. Okay, so you don't need to write this. Now, See, for this particular uh, equation, all these are possible values of a plus b. But there is also one more condition that HCF is 15, right? Okay, highest common factor should be 15 and nothing else. Okay, now the concept of co-prime should be added here. Why? Because if you are taking this one, no? If you are taking this pair, 2 comma 14, what is the common factor in this 2 comma 14? Hi, um, 2. 2 is the HCF of 2 comma 14, right? Now, if you substitute this value here in 15A and 15B, what is the value? 15 into 2 is what? 30 and uh, 15 into 14 is how much? It's 210. Now, what is the highest common factor of 15, uh, 30 and 210? It is 30. It is not 15. So, this is ruled out. This particular condition is being violated not ruled out it is being violated okay so you cannot take numbers which have common factors other than one that is what is the concept of co-prime no that's why i explained all these things and that you should use it here you should eliminate options which are not co-primes to get the answer all right now 
1 and 15, yes, because they are co-primes. Only 1 is a common factor. 2 and 14 is gone. No, you shouldn't take because 2 is again a common factor. 3 and 13, yes. 4 and 12, no. 5 and 11, yes. 6 and 10, no. 7 and 9, yes. 8 and 8, no. Why? Because all these numbers uh, which I, you know, which I cut uh, ha are having 2 as a common um, factor. And we have already seen what happens if you are taking those numbers. So, you have to cut those numbers. Uh, so, what is remaining 1 and 15, 3 and 13, 5 and 11 and 7 and 9. They are 4 pairs. So, this is the answer. Now, numbers they didn't ask. What are the number of pairs they asked? They didn't ask what are the values of uh, numbers. But for your convenience, I am saying, if you substitute 1 and 15, what, what value will you get? You will get 15, 225 as a pair, 225. And uh, if you substitute 3 and 13, you will get what? 45 and uh, 195 likewise okay so 4 is the answer they didn't ask you these they asked you number number of pairs 1 2 3 and 4 so don't strain yourself by calculating why did i strain myself because to show you that uh, if they ask you these pairs you can actually observe the answers and directly mark them but this is the procedure okay yeah now six bells begin to toll together and tall means ringing the bells are ringing okay respectively at intervals 2 3 5 6 and 8 and 10 seconds okay after how many minutes will they toll together tall means ringing okay don't take this word word too seriously if you do not know okay now this bell problems no you there is a there is an easy way of how to do it actually you have to take the lcm of 2 3 5 6 uh, 8 and 10 and that's the answer easily I can tell you like that but why are you supposed to take the LCM is the question so I'm trying to make the concepts clear so that you will use it for other problems without any effort okay now here bell will write here bell number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay and uh, number of seconds we will mention here I am doing this so that you will understand the concept behind the calculation and easily you can solve problems you didn't don't need to mug up the solutions okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 why did i take only 10 why didn't i take 20 is because the highest number here it's 10 so that's why i've taken 10 positions okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 Okay, now the first bell is ringing at interval of 2 seconds. Okay, now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, 2 seconds. Now second bell is ringing at the interval of 3 seconds. And third bell at the interval of 5 seconds. Fourth bell at the interval of 6 seconds. Um, fifth bell at the interval of 8 seconds. And... Uh, Sixth bell at the interval of 10 seconds. Okay. So, they are ringing in this fashion. Now, they are asking, after how many minutes will they ring together again? Okay. Okay. Now, what are they asking? See, if this goes on, at some nth second, all these bells, you know, they will ring together. What is that nth second? They are asking. That is the question. Okay, this you understood. Now, how to solve it? Now, what is n? It is the multiple of 2. Okay, that's when, you know, this bell will ring at 4 seconds. It will ring at 6 seconds, 8 seconds, 10 seconds and nth second also. Likewise, second bell will ring in 3rd second, 6th second, ninth second and nth second also. Why nth second? Because all are ringing together. Likewise, third bell will ring in 4th second. 8th second and nth second. This one, 4th bell will ring at 6th second and nth second. Likewise, 6, 12 and nth, so on. 5th will ring at, 5th uh, bell will ring at 8th second, 16th second, 24th second, likewise. 6th bell will ring at 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 and nth seconds. Now, this n fellow, nth second should be a multiple of 2, it should be a multiple of 3, 
it should be a multiple of 5, it should be a multiple of 5, it should be a multiple of 6, it should be a multiple of 8 and it should also be a multiple of 10. Okay, and what is that n called? It is called the lowest common multiple of 2, 3, 5, 6 and 8. Okay, 8 and 10 also. That is the value where all the bells together ring again. I hope this is very, very clear. This is the concept behind calculating LCM of the given numbers in bell questions. You got my point, right? Now, now you write. What is the LCM of uh, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8 and 10? One method is this 2, 3, 5, 6, 8. You will write and you will calculate. The other method is you will write 2, 3, 5, 2 into 3, 2 cube and 2 into 5. Okay. Now, if the numbers are given like this, there can be a probable question. What is the LCM of 2, 3, 5, this, this and this? Now, how will you calculate? You will take the highest power of all the numbers. Highest power of all the numbers. This you keep it in your brain. Okay. Why highest power of all the numbers? Because we are calculating the multiple, right? So, you will take that. Here, 2 cube is... 2 cube should be taken. What is the highest power of 2 that is present? It's 2 cube, right? Yeah. And highest power of 5 is 1. So, 5. 5 power 1 should be taken. 3 is highest power is what? 3. There is no 3 square like that, no? So, 3 to the power 1 is the highest power of... Uh, um, 3 to the power 1 is should be taken here. Okay. Now, 8 into into. 8 into 5 into 3. 8 fives are 40, 4 threes are 12, so it is 120 seconds. Now, 120 is not there here. Then read the question again. How many minutes they are asking? So, 120 seconds is how much? After doing all this, when you don't find the answer, you will be disappointed. Don't get disappointed. When you are confident about the method, just read the question again. Okay. So, 120 seconds means 2 minutes. This is the answer. So, bell questions should be done like this. This should happen in your brain. Okay. Now, why are we, are we taking LCM? That you should know. Direct take LCM. Do this. Do that. No. Why are we taking LCM? This is the reason. Next. A gardener has 1080 roses and 720 lilies. Good. He wants to plant them in rows. Very nice. Keeping roses and lilies separate and having the same number of flowers in each row. If these rows are as large as possible, then the maximum number of flowers in each row and the total number of rows required for this purpose respectively are. Now, this is another model of question. See, common sense, here you have to observe two things. That that fellow wants to keep them separately. Good. Second one, same number of flowers in each row. This is important. Same number of flowers in each row. That is the second. And third is... As large as possible. The rows should be as large as possible. As large as. This is the first condition. This is the second condition. Same number of flowers and as large as possible. As large as possible means maximum uh, number of flowers should be kept in each row such that they satisfy these two conditions also. Which two conditions? That there should be same number of flowers in each row. Same number of flowers should be there. In, see, suppose if I am keeping five flowers in each row, that fellow is saying in each row I will keep only five flowers. That should be the maximum length and and um, the row should be as large as possible. Now, what is he talking about? He is talking about maximum number in each row. Matlab, it is HCF, highest common factor. Highest common factor. He is talking about the highest common factor. Okay. Um, that is the whole issue here. Instead of giving directly that you find the HCF, he is giving all the story. Okay. So, what is the HCF of 1080 and 720? 720. 1080. It is 1 or 720. 
we get 360 into 7 i mean not into this again is 2 720 now 360 is the highest common factor of 1080 and 720 why did i take hcf not randomly because that fellow is saying boss i want maximum numbers of flowers in each row and the number should be equal in every row and they have to be separate all these th three things for that you need to take hcf okay now 360 what is this 360 360 is the number of flowers in each row possible the maximum number of possible flowers in each row okay now 360 is there and um, you observe the options it is only in the so this is the answer now what is this five rows how will you get you have to divide 1080 there are 1080 rows is and 360 in each row okay which means how many rows three rows of roses and 720 by 360 two rows of lilies total number of roses five you don't need to calculate this one but just in case if the, if he doesn't give 360 flowers only if he is asking number of rows then this is the procedure otherwise observe the options and mark yeah now next question four runners started running simultaneously from a point in a circular track they took 300 seconds 450 seconds 600 seconds 800 seconds to complete one run after how much time did they meet at the starting point for the first time since the race started see here i explained you this bells concept no same thing you should apply here instead of bells we are taking runners bells ringing at the same time or runners meeting at the same time is same you the, he is directly asking you to find the lcm the lcm it is similar to the bell question now one way of doing is 300 450 600 and uh, 800 they're like 2 150 225 300 okay this is one way it is little laborious okay instead of that instead of that write 300 as product of prime numbers okay so 3 into 100 right 100 is what 10 square 10 square is what 5 into 2 square 3 into 5 square into 2 square then 450 450 is what 9 into 5 now now what is 9 3 square into 5 into 10 right so into 10 is how much it is 5 into 2 so that this comes down to 3 square 5 square into 2 likewise 600 and 800 Now six hundred can be written as hundred is what five square into two square six is what two into three so this comes down to two cube into three into five square now eight hundred it is two cube into five square into two square okay yeah now LCM how will you take you have to take the highest power of each number. highest power of each number so what is the highest power 2 3 5 are the numbers highest power of 2 is what 2 cube 3 that is 3 2 cube into 2 cube into 2 square means 2 power 5 so plus 2 3 square because 3 square is the highest power in these four numbers and 5 5 square is the highest power so it is 2 power 5 into 3 square into 5 square now what is it 2 power 5 is how much 32 into 9 into 25 this is 7200 how 32 into 25 32 into 25 can be written as 32 into 100 by 4 25 is what 100 by 4 easy calculation i'm telling you 4 ones are 4 8s are so 32 into 25 is 800 and 800 into 9 is 7200 okay now 7200 is not there in the answer because 7200 is the number of seconds so in terms of hours what are we supposed to to get it in terms of number of hours you need to divide 7200 seconds by 
three six double zero. Why three six double zero? Because every hour has these many seconds. Okay, so it is two two hours. So this is a simpler way, but you need practice. You will do that. Okay, yeah. Now, let x be the least number of four digits that, when divided by three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, leaves the remainder one in each case. If x lies in between four thousand and four thousand three hundred, then what is the sum of the digits of x? Okay. Now, they are asking you that. Leaves one in remainder in each case means LCM of all these numbers lowest it should be a lowest common multiple plus one. Okay, now first we'll find the LCM of three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, you will get two, five, three. Here the method which we used in the previous question will not work because. uh here only this method will work because power in terms of powers you cannot write these numbers because they were huge numbers that's why we have written in this format here we cannot write like that 3 7 only 8 can be written okay now Now what is the LCM? Two threes are six. Six twos are twelve. Twelve into five into two is how much? Ten into seven. Twelve sevens are is eighty four. Eighty four into ten is eight forty. So eight forty is some LCM. Now this plus one is um, this is the least common multiple. This is the least common multiple. But what did they give? The number should lie in between four thousand and four thousand. Three hundred. Okay. Now, to for a number to be in this range, with what number should we multiply this? Approximately five. How did I know that it's five? See, four thousand eight hundred into how much is approximately four thousand eight hundred into five is exactly four thousand. And this forty into five again will get get to it. Okay. So we have to multiply it with five, and it will be four thousand two hundred. Okay. And four thousand two hundred lies in between these two numbers. Okay. Four thousand two hundred lies in between. The, now this four plus two six is not the answer here, because they are asking sum of digits. You have to write a number in between this range, which is, which is, having remainder one when divided by the LCM of this one. So the number is four two zero one. Four two double zero is exactly divisible. So plus one will re, uh, leave a remainder one. Okay. And the sum of the digits is four plus two plus one is seven. That's the answer. Now let the let x be the smallest number, which is exactly divisible by thirteen. But if x is divided by this number, remainder two is obtained in each case. Find the sum of the digits of x. The same same pattern. It's the same pattern, but little differences there. Now the LCM of four, five, six, seven, eight, and twelve. The LCM of four, five, six, seven, eight. And twelve. Why are we taking the LCM? Why are we taking the LCM? Because the smallest number, which is divisible by thirteen, but if x is divided by these numbers, it's the smallest number, right? So LCM, lowest common multiple, it should be divi divisible by this, 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 and this. So you have to take the LCM. Okay, now two. Three, one five, one seven, two and one. So the LCM is how much? Five two is ten. Okay, ten into four threes are twelve. Twelve into seven is eighty four. It's eight forty. Okay, so the required number is of the form eight forty into some x plus two because the remainder is two. All right. Now, this one, uh, and they have given that the number is exactly divisible by thirteen. So we will write this number as um, an equation where you can take thirteen common and solve this. Okay. 
So this one will be 780x plus 60x plus 2. Okay, 780x. Why did I write like this? Because it is 30 into 6x. 30 plus the 60 can be written as 52x plus 8x plus 2. Now, 52x is what? 13 into 4x. Now, why did I write like this? Because I want to solve this by writing this equation as product of 13 and some number. Okay. So, here this has 13. So, it, this, this is, has 13. But this is not having 13. Alright. So, 8x plus plus 2 should also be divisible by 13. Okay. So, what is one possible value? 13 for x is equal to 3. The number 8x plus 2 will be divisible by 13. Okay. So, because it's 24 plus 2. That is 26. Alright. So, for x is equal to 3, you are getting a number which is, which is divisible by 13. So, what is the number 840 into 3 plus 2? Okay, it is 2522. Two, two. Now, what is the sum of the digits? It is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, 11 is the answer. Alright. Next, find the least number which when divided by this leaves 4 as reminder in each case. But when divided by 8, leaves no reminder. Okay, so this one is again the same thing, LCM concept, LCM of 10, 14, 18 and 20. Okay, so 2, 5, 7, 9, 10, 5, 7, 9, 2. Now the LCM is 2, 5, sir, 10 into 7 into 9 into 2, that is 1, 2, 6, 0. 1260 and uh, it has to leave reminder 4 which means see lowest common multiple of this is 1260 which is exactly uh, divisible okay but to but to leave 4 as reminder you have to add 4 to it okay so 1260 plus 4 is 1264 this is the answer next which is the largest 6 digit number which when divided by this number, these numbers leaves the remainders 4, 6, 8, 11 and 16 respectively. Okay, now again the same thing LCM concept, LCM of 8, 10, 12, 15, 20, 2, 4, 5, 6, 15, 10, 2, 2, 5, 3, 15, 5, 3, 2, 5, 1, 5, 5. Okay, so 5 and 2. Now, what is the LCM? It's 5, 2 is 10, 3 into 4 is 12, 12 into 10 is 120. Calculations, you have to always search for 5 and 2 so that it will be 10 and then multiply rest of the numbers. Okay. Yeah, so 120 is the least common multiple of these numbers. Now, which is the largest six digit number, which when divided by these numbers, leaves the reminder 4, 6, 8, 11 and 16 respectively. So, here, what is the possible largest 16 number, just uh, largest six digit number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 6 nines, right? So, now divide this by 120. Okay, so how much are you getting? Then 3 is a 360, then 399, then 360, then 39, and then 9, 360, then it's 39. Okay. Okay, so this is the reminder when this particular number is being divided by 120. Okay, now 
for this number to be exactly divisible by 120 you need to subtract this from this number okay so 9999999 minus 39 is how much minus 39 06 okay 9999960 is a number which is exactly divisible by largest six digit number which is exactly divisible by 120 however see 999960 when divided by these numbers you will get zero as the remainder because they are all factors of this number so um, but they have to uh, leave a remainder 4 6 8 11 and 16 when divided by these numbers right now we'll go with the options this is a base number which is exactly divisible by all these numbers and now we have to find a number which satisfies this condition okay now 999957 if it is divided by 8 is it re leaving a reminder 4 uh, when you're dividing 9999957 by 8 the remainder is not 4 it is 5 so this is gone when 5 is the remainder for this number for this number 999956 the remainder would be 4 because this is one number less so this is the answer okay yeah if you want you can cross check with other numbers also right yeah least common multiple of a and b is 32 the lcm of 4a and 11b is now least common multiple of a and b is 32 means a into b is 32 this is the other way of saying it all right so a into b is 32 now the lcm of 4a into 11b lcm of 4a into 11b is what 4a into 11b which means 44 into ab 44 into 32 this you can write it as 11 into 4 into 32 okay just for calculation purpose i'm saying for easy calculation so 11 into 32 is how much 32 into 30, 32 uh, into 11 is 5352 into 4 into 4 is how much it's 8 4 5 is 20 12 plus 2 is 14 so 14 or 8 is the answer so this is the other way of saying product of two numbers now don't get confused all right so this is it for today practice these methods consistently revise them and you'll be super confident about csat paper 10 questions a day keeps your csat fear at bay all the very best